Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The eternal gifts of Christ the King, the Apostles' glory let us sing, and all with hearts of gladness raise, due hymns of thankful love and praise. Their faith in Christ the Lord prevailed, their hope a light that never failed. Their love ablaze or pathways trod to lead them to the eternal God. In them the Father's glory shone, in them the will of God the Son. In them exalts the Holy Ghost, through them rejoice the heavenly host. To thee, Redeemer, now we cry, that thou wouldst join to them on high. Thy servants who this grace implore, forever and forevermore. I have prayed for you, Peter, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned to me, you must strengthen the faith of your brothers. I trusted, even when I said I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I have prayed for you, Peter, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned to me, you must strengthen the faith of your brothers. Willingly I boast of my weaknesses, that the power of Christ may live in me. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing with when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Willingly I boast of my weaknesses, that the power of Christ may live in me. You are the shepherd of Christ's flock and the prince of the apostles. To you Christ has entrusted the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ, such was his will and pleasure, that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed, and our sins forgiven, so immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan he carried out in Christ in the fullness of time to bring all things into him in the heavens and on the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You are the shepherd of Christ's flock and the prince of the apostles. To you Christ has entrusted the keys of the kingdom of heaven.
A reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. I handed on to you, first of all, what I myself received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, that he was buried, and in accordance with the Scriptures, rose on the third day, that he was seen by Cephas, then by the twelve. Last of all, he was seen by me. The apostles proclaimed the word of God and preached it faithfully. The apostles proclaimed the word of God and preached it faithfully. They testified to the resurrection of Jesus Christ and preached it faithfully. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The apostles proclaimed the word of God and preached it faithfully. Peter, the apostle, and Paul, the teacher of the Gentiles, taught us your law, O Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Peter, the apostle, and Paul, the teacher of the Gentiles, taught us your law, O Lord. The Lord Jesus built his holy people on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. In faith, let us pray, Lord, come to the aid of your people. You once called Simon the fisherman to catch men, now summon new workers who will bring the message of salvation to all peoples. You calm the waves so that your followers would not be drowned. Guard your church, protected from all dangers. You gathered your scattered flock around Peter after the resurrection. Good Shepherd, bring all your people together as one flock. You sent Paul, an apostle, to preach the good news to the Gentiles. Let the word of salvation be proclaimed to all mankind. You gave the keys of your kingdom into the hands of your holy church. Open the gates of that kingdom to all who trusted in your mercy while on earth. Let us make our prayers and praise complete by offering the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that we may be sustained by the intercession of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, that as through them you gave your church the foundations of her heavenly office, so through them you may help her to eternal salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.